ओके गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई वेलकम्स टू ऑल इन आवर लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन मैथमेटिकल फिजिक्स दैट इज योर कोर पेपर फाइव बिलोंग्स टू थर्ड सेमिस्टर बी एस सी फिजिक्स ऑनर्स सिलेबस इन आवर लास्ट क्लास वी हैव बीन डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल अबाउट सोल्यूशन ऑफ लैपलास इक्वेशन इन सिलिंड्रिकल कोर्डिनेट सिस्टम बाय यूजिंग एस बी एम दैट मीन्स सेपरेसन वेरिएबल मेथड ओके इन डिटेल वी हैव बीन डिस्कस्ड इन आवर लास्ट क्लास ओके होपफुली यू ऑल हैव रिटर्न योर नोट एंड फॉर सिलिंड्रिकल कोर्डिनेट सिस्टम वी फाउंड द जनरल सोल्यूशन इज दिस वन ओके and today in this lecture we are going to discuss in detail about solution of laplace equation in three dimensional spherical polar coordinate system by using separation variable method or in short i have been written here sbm method okay sbm before i am going to start the derivation of this 3d laplace equation first i am going to represent or i am going to share with you that what is the importance of this uh, solution or the derivation okay this derivation whatever we are going to do now in this video and its solution is very much essential very much essential to solve the problem solve the problems such as conducting sphere conducting sphere in electric field dielectric sphere in electric field these two topics we are going to discuss in our upcoming classes and most important most important this derivation is essential to solve hydrogen atom okay whatever you are going to study in your fifth semester in your quantum mechanics in your quantum mechanics that is a core paper 11 here conducting sphere in electric field and dielectric sphere in electric field that means this is the uniform electric field if i will put a conducting sphere or dielectric sphere then at external point or at internal point what will be the electric field that can be estimate that can be estimated by using solution of this derivation whatever we are going to discuss in this class okay so let's starts to discuss in detail this derivation so in general 3d laplace equation is written as del square u equal to 0 let this is your equation number 1 that we know here del square is known as laplace operator in spherical polar coordinates the laplace operator del square is given by del square equal to 1 by r square del by del r into r square del by del r plus 1 by r square sin theta into del by del theta into whole into sin theta del by del theta plus 1 by r square sin square theta del square 
by del phi square because we know that for a spherical polar coordinates this is one variable radial radial variation and this is your azimuthal angle you can say the variation of phi and this is your theta variation this is nothing but called as your spherical polar coordinate system about this spherical polar coordinate system in detail we have been discussed in our first semester mathematical physics paper in the mathematical physics paper and here we are going to be operate this del square on a function u right then what we are going to find out now the equation one when this del square will be operated on u then the equation number one is going to be modified as this one so here now the equation number one will be in spherical polar coordinate that is r theta phi function of r theta phi will be <coughs> here 1 by r square 1 by r square del by del r r square del by del r of u del by del r of u del by del r of u plus 1 by r square sin theta del by del theta into sin theta del by del theta of u then plus 1 by r square sin square theta del square by del phi square of u okay equal to 0 let this is your equation number 2 so here from equation number 2 one can be noticed that u is the function of r theta phi here you can see that uh, this u is differentiated with respect to r, differentiated with respect to theta, differentiated with respect to phi. Hence, u is the function of r theta phi in your spherical polar coordinate system. Now, we have to consider that this u equal to u r theta, which is the function of r theta phi, is the general solution of this equation number 2. And by using by using separation variable method or in short here I, I have been written SBM u r, u r theta phi can be written as u r theta phi equal to r capital R which is the function of only r into capital theta which is the function of theta only see this is your capital theta and this is the small theta into capital phi which is the function of phi only u r theta phi can be written as r capital r into capital theta into phi let this is your equation number three so here r is the function having the variable is only r and theta is the function having the variable is only theta phi having the variable only phi right so by using sbm separation variable method u r theta phi can be written in this form that we are we are already discussed in our previous classes right let this is your equation number three now <coughs> we have to put this value in our equation number two so you just put this value r theta phi capital R theta phi here here and here here one thing you can see that whenever I am going to put capital R capital theta phi and this will be the differentiation with respect to R that means theta and phi will be considered as constants likewise here R and phi will be constant and here R and theta will be considered as constant because here u is differentiated with respect to phi okay same thing we have been done here now we have to substitute equation number three in equation number two we get equation number three means this one this one if i am going to substitute here in, in your equation number two we can get that first we have to substitute okay one by r square del by del r r square del by del r r theta phi capital r theta phi okay plus 1 by r square sin theta del by del theta of sin theta del by del theta of r theta phi plus 1 by r square sin square theta into 
del square by del phi square r theta phi equal to 0. So here you can see that <coughs> differentiation is your del by del r, differentiation with respect to r. So hence theta phi r constants can be taken outside. So theta into phi by r square del by del r, okay, r square del by del r of capital R. Likewise here differentiation is with respect to theta. So r phi r the constant can be taken outside. So r phi by r square sin theta r square sin theta del by del theta of sin theta del by del theta of capital theta. Okay. This is your capital theta. Capital theta and this is the small theta. So here I suggest one thing that whenever you are going to be write capital theta, you just write like this. Uh, a somewhat bigger size you have to write and just put a line exactly at the center. And for the small theta, you just write like this. Okay. <clears throat> and for the capital phi, you just write like this. One bar here, one bar here. And for the small phi, you just write this one. Okay. Same thing I have been written in the whole derivation. You just watch carefully and also maintain your note. <coughs> so, this is your equation number 4. Now, we have to divide capital R, capital theta into capital phi with equation number 4. So, whenever I am going to divide here r theta phi r capital theta capital phi here theta phi theta phi got cancelled so here whenever i am going to divide r capital theta capital phi r phi r phi got cancelled here whenever i am going to divide r capital theta capital phi r theta will be got cancelled and we can get here 1 by phi same thing directly have been written here you can see 1 by r square already is there and whenever I am going to divide r theta phi theta and phi theta phi got cancelled and I, I found 1 by r right into del by del r of r square into del by del r of capital R okay so here we can found that here r phi r phi got cancelled 1 by theta 1 by theta is here and already 1 by r square sin theta is there 1 by r square sin theta into 1 by capital theta into del by del theta here del theta means small theta okay del by del theta of sin theta here theta is also small into del by del theta of capital theta right then third term here when r theta phi divided r theta r theta got cancelled and we found 1 by phi already 1 by r square sin square theta is there 1 by r square sin square theta into 1 by capital phi into del square capital phi by del phi square you, you, you have to just read it like this del square by del phi square of capital f equal to 0 right see as we are considering the separation variable method so we have to write down this equation in such a way that each term will be represent separate function having separate variables. You can see that this term, this last term have r square sin square theta phi here del square by del phi square of capital phi that means all variables are present in this term so we our objective primary objective is that we have to represent or we are going to modify this equation in such a way that each term will be represent have single function having single variable so we can say that we have been separated the variables right for that here we have been multiplied r square sin square theta with each term here three terms are there 
this one this one and this one if i am going to be multiply r square sin square theta with this with this and this then here r square sin square theta if i am going to multiply then what we are going to get you just see here see in this term already at the denominator r square is there so r square r square got cancelled and we found sin square theta by capital r del by del r of r square del by del r of capital r same thing has been written right now here whenever we are going to multiply r square sin square theta already r square sin theta is there so r square r square got cancelled sin theta one sin theta will be cancelled out and we found sin theta by this capital theta del by del theta of del by del theta of sin theta del by del theta of capital theta is written over here and here you can see that whenever we are going to be multiply r square sin square theta with this term r square sin square sin square theta will be got cancel and we are going to be found out 1 by capital phi into del square by del phi square of capital phi equal to 0. Now here you can see that this term is free from theta and r. This is have the single variable. This term also have the single variable but this term have two variables theta and r and this term required for the treatment that we are going to discuss. So now as this term have the single variable this term taken to the RHS. So it will be minus 1 by phi into del square by del phi square of capital phi and left hand side as written as such. Okay, nothing changed you can see sin square theta by r del by del r r square del by del r of r and this term is written not, uh, without change. Okay, let this is your equation number 5. So in the equation number 5 LHS is function of r and theta and RHS is function of only phi. Now consider LHS equal to RHS equal to a constant. Suppose that constant is your m square, small m square. Okay. So if we consider LHS equal to RHS equal to a constant m square, that means this will be this term will be m square and this whole will be m square. So we get that minus 1 by capital phi into del square capital phi by del phi square minus 1 by capital phi into del square phi by del phi square capital phi equal to m square. So that implies <coughs> here you can see that uh, phi is going to be multiplied with m square and this will be taken left hand side and by multiplying minus we can get del square by del phi square of capital phi plus m square capital phi equal to zero let this is your equation number six and this whole this one equal to also m square that means this is your lhs part let this is your equation number seven carefully you have to watch and write down your note okay because note is very much essential for your exam point of view right we have to go for the next page now we have to find out the solution of equation number six by considering auxiliary equation this is your equation number six and we are going to be consider the auxiliary equation of equation number six the auxiliary equation as you know that it will be d square plus m square equal to zero for the equation number six because here d is nothing but d by d x sorry d by d uh, phi right d by d phi is your uh, capital d so as it is d square by d phi square is there so we have to write down capital d square plus m square equal to 0 and d will be plus or minus i m so d square here d square equal to minus m square and d will be root over of minus m square that is nothing but plus or minus i m 
therefore the general solution of equation number 6 will be phi capital phi equal equal to some constant into e to the power plus or minus i m phi or this can be written as the linear combination of two solutions that is your capital phi will be equal to a e to the power i m phi plus b into e to the power minus i m phi let this this is your equation number 8 that is our first solution we found here <coughs> you can see for the equation number 3 we we want to find out phi theta and r here we got phi okay phi we got and other two we are going to find out okay then we have to substitute over here and we are going to get the final solution for that we have to consider equation number seven the equation number seven is this one okay now we have to consider this one here i written the equation number seven whatever i written the previous page exactly same here i have a written okay now again to separate the terms having the single variable here what we have been done by dividing sine square theta with each term here you can see that this term have two variables that is theta and r if i am going to be divide sine square theta with this term then this term will be will be transformed to the function having single variable r so to the aim of that we have to uh, we have been divided sine square theta with this term this term and also with rhs with m square so what we can get <coughs> here if i am going to divide sine square theta here it will be 1 by r into del by del r of r square del by del r of capital r plus here sine theta is there on on the numerator so if i am going to divide sine square theta here so sine theta and one sine theta got cancelled and we found 1 by capital theta into sine theta here theta is small into del by del small theta of sin theta into del by del theta of capital theta equal to m square by sin square theta okay now we have to take this whole term to the right hand side so we can get m square by sin square theta minus this term 1 by capital theta into sin theta into del by del theta of sin theta into del by del theta of capital theta let this is your equation number 9 from equation number 9 what we can found we found here you can see that rhs is the single variable lhs is the single variable this is uh, 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 this term having the variable is r this term having the variable is theta same thing I have been written here LHS and RHS of equation number 9 are belongs to separate variables that is that is R and theta and both are equal both are equal this one equal to this one here we consider that this LHS equal to RHS equal to a another constant that is your n into n plus 1 so hence this will be equal to n plus n into n plus 1 and this lhs will be equal to n into n plus 1 so 1 by r into del by del r into r square del by del r of r equal to n into n plus 1 let this is equation number 10 and this much this much rhs equal to n into n plus 1 let this is your equation number 11 so watch the video carefully pause the video and write down Okay, we have to go for the next page and we are going to find out the solution of equation number 10 and 11. From equation number 10, we can found capital R. From equation number 11, by solving the equation number 11, we can found uh, capital theta. Okay, so and then we are going to put in equation number 3. So, so, so now equation number 10, from equation number 10, 
now now we are going to consider equation number 10 and we are we are going to try to solve this equation okay so the equation number 10 is that 1 by r into del by del r of r square del by del r of r equal to n into n plus 1 now here that implies del by del r of r square del by del r of capital r this r is multiplied with uh, rhs so it will be n into n plus 1 into r and this term taken to the lhs side so this will be that implies uh, del by del r of r square del by del r of capital r minus n into n plus 1 into capital r equal to 0 that implies here you just uh, differentiate this term r square del by del r of r with uh, respect to r so by using the product formula first you differentiate this one with respect to r it will be del square by del r square of capital r r square is here and then whenever r square is going to be differentiated with uh, respect to r it will be 2r and del by del r of r has been written over here and this term written as usual equal to 0 let this is your equation number 12 as we know that this type of differential equation can be solved by using power series method and the solution will be like this the capital R will be a n subscript ok a subscript n r to the power n plus b n r to the power minus n plus 1 let this is your equation number 13 so here we got the another solution capital r equal to this one so <clears throat> in detail we have been we are going to be discuss in your uh, second unit about power series method so you can check already i uh, uploaded the videos on power series method you can check those videos so by using power series method this type of differential equation can be solved and it will and the solution will be in this form so here we have been directly written the results um, that is your solution of this type of differential equation or this differential equation will be this one let this is your equation number 13 now we are going to go for the equation number 11 so the equation number 11 is nothing but this one first i have been written here this one the equation number 11 is this one that is your m square by sin square theta minus 1 by capital theta into sin theta into del by del theta of sin theta del by del theta of capital theta equal to n into n plus 1 now what we have to do here n into n plus 1 taken to the lhs side so this will be this term minus this term minus n into n plus 1 equal to 0 Now you can see that I uh, multiplied minus with each term. So we can found this term will be plus. So written first that is 1 by capital theta into sin theta into del by del theta of in del by del theta of sin theta into del cap del by del theta of capital theta okay plus plus whenever i'm going to multiply minus this term will be plus so n into n plus 1 and this term will be minus it will be minus m square by sine square theta equal to 0 right so now that implies that implies <coughs> 1 by sine theta so here uh, then we are going to be multiply capital theta with this term and this term we found 1 by sin theta into del by del theta of sin theta into del by del theta of capital theta plus this much into capital theta n into n plus 1 minus m square by sin square theta whole into capital theta equal to 0 let this is your equation number 14 okay <coughs> For further simplification, we considered here that x equal to cos theta. So hence dx by d theta will be minus sin theta. 
and del by del theta can be written as del by del x into del x by del theta here del x del x uh, if cancelled out then we can get del by del theta so del by del theta can be written as del by del x of del by del theta of x so del by del, del theta of x or del x by del theta here we found that minus sin theta so del by del theta will be equal to minus sin theta into del by del x into del by del x now we are going to be substitute instead of del by del theta equal to minus sin theta into del by del x carefully you have to watch this these two steps very much important okay instead of del by del theta we have to substitute this one so here 1 by sin theta 1 by sin theta have been written into del by del theta del by del theta sin theta <coughs> see for this term i am considering i am uh, I'm, I'm considering this term first so here 1 by sin theta into del by del theta sin theta into del theta by del theta del theta by theta will be equal to 1 by sin theta is there 1 by sin theta del by del theta here del by del theta will be written as how much minus sin theta del by del x minus sin theta del by del x whole into sin theta sin theta is written del capital theta by del theta del capital theta by del theta then in your next step what it will be here you can see sin theta sin theta got cancelled and we found uh, minus del by del x so here i written minus del by del x whole into sin theta sin theta written here also del by del theta is there so instead of del by del theta we can put minus sin theta del by del x right so instead of this del by del theta i have been substituted minus sin theta minus sin theta del by del x so it will be del by del x of theta okay so here you can see this is minus minus so it will be plus sin theta sin theta it will be sin square theta so we got finally del by del x of del by del x of sin square theta and here you can see <coughs> del by del x of sin square theta here sin theta into sin theta sin square theta del theta by del x mistakenly i have written square so you just remove it sin square theta del capital theta by del x right now we have to substitute this value 1 by sin theta into del by del theta into sin theta into del by del theta of capital theta equal to this much this is your del by del x of sin square theta carefully you have to watch okay sin square theta this is your del by del x of capital theta del by del x of capital theta this is nothing this is nothing these two dots are nothing okay <coughs> now we have to substitute now if i am going to substitute then the equation number 14 will be modified as now the equation number 14 will be del by del x of sin square theta del capital theta by del x plus n into n plus 1 minus m square by sin square theta into capital theta equal to 0 right now here sin square theta can be written as 1 minus cos square theta and here also sin square theta can be written as 1 minus cos square theta right so here instead of sin square theta we just substituted as 1 minus cos square theta and here sin square theta is written as 1 minus cos square theta into capital theta equal to 0 and previously you can see that we have been considered that x equal to cos theta so instead of cos theta we can write x so instead of cos square theta we can write x square so del by del x 
of 1 minus x square into del capital theta by del x plus n into n plus 1 minus minus m square by m square by 1 minus x square into capital theta equal to 0 right so you just differentiate this one by using product formula 1 minus x square into del capital theta by del x with respect to x first differentiate this one this term it will be 1 minus x square 1 minus x square into uh, del by del x of del theta by del x it will be del square theta capital theta by del x square then we have to differentiate 1 minus x square with respect to x it will be minus 2x and here del capital theta by del x del capital theta by del x right now this term as usual has been written nothing changed n into n plus 1 minus m square by 1 minus x square into capital theta equal to 0 let this is your equation number 15 this equation number 15 is well known that this is your associate legender equation associate legender differential equation legender differential equation associate legender differential equation now if it is the associate legender differential equation we know that the solution will be like this that is your capital theta will be equal to p subscript n superscript m function of x that is p n m x so x we have been considered as cos theta so this can be written as p n m cos theta let this is your equation of 16 so here we found the solution in, in term of r that is your uh, equation number 13 and in term of phi that is equation number 8 in term of theta equation number 16 so using 8 13 16 we found the general solution that is your equation number 3 which is u r theta phi is your capital r into capital theta into phi will be equal to instead of r uh, the so called solution here we found <coughs> equal to this much i have been substituted over here and instead of capital theta we have to write this one p n m cos theta here cos theta is the function only okay not multiplication p n m cos theta into instead of phi we can write a into e to the plus or minus i m phi or we can write in this form itself uh, phi can be written as a e to the i m phi plus b into e to the minus i m phi this can be also uh, written over here but i have been written a into e to the plus or minus i m phi because most of the book have been written in this format okay this is the general solution of the uh, laplace equation in spherical polar coordinate system and we solved by using separation variable method here i have written also this is the required general solution of laplace equation in spherical polar coordinate by solved by solved by solved by you just uh, solved by sbm okay solved by sbm separation variable method now we are going to go for the some special cases okay so here we have been considered two cases case one and case two case one in case one we consider that u independent of phi if u is independent of phi then we can write u r theta phi will be equal to u r theta only and the general solution will be uh, a n r to the power n b n r to the power minus n plus one and here it is n m but if we are going to consider independent of phi it will be p n cos theta that means it will be uh, only in the form of Lie gender differential equation we are not going to be found associate Lie gender differential equation if we are going to consider u is independent of independent of phi here you can see that if we are going to consider 
u is independent of phi that means this term will be not appear okay if this term will be not appear so m square will be not appear if m square will not appear then obviously this solution will be not come out and uh, here you can see um, that uh, this term will be appear okay this term you can found that will be this one 1 by r uh, del by del r, r square by del by del r equal to n into n plus 1 you can do it you know rough okay so this solution you can get but in case of uh, uh, theta variable this term will be not appear because m will be 0 if uh, u is going to be considered as independent so we can found this much equal to n into n plus 1 so if we are going to be solve then we can found uh, that this one only you can see see here uh, we found that uh, minus m square by 1 minus x square capital theta if u is independent of phi so obviously this m will be not appear m will be zero so we are going to be found this one only that is your <coughs> uh this 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 will be zero okay this will be zero then then we are going to be found one minus x square uh, del theta del square theta by del x square minus 2x del theta by del x plus n into n plus 1 n into n plus 1 into theta <coughs> okay and this is nothing but your Lie gender differential equation and the solution of this Lie gender differential equation will be pnx or pn cos theta as i told to you okay or you can put m equal to 0 over here directly here then uh, then this will be transformed to the solution as pn cos theta right and whenever we are going to consider u r theta phi is independent of theta and phi that means u is not depend upon theta and phi okay only it will be depends upon r for this case uh, the solution will be r theta phi will be equal to u r and uh, the so called del square u equal to 0 uh, the laplace equation will be equal to this much only you can see that the initial differential equation laplace differential equation is this one right is this one if u is independent of uh, theta and phi so this term and this term will be not appear in this differential equation and only we can get that del square v u uh, del, square, del square u equal to this much okay and if i am going if we are going to be solve this differential equation then we can found um, we can found in solution in the form of c here n will be zero because this a n came due to this one okay due to this factor due to this factor that means whenever we are going to be consider uh, the lhs rhs will be equal to n into n plus one then this n will be appear then this n will be appear in uh, solution for the r right if the u is independent of theta and phi itself so this term will be not appear and here m will be 0 and n will be also 0 that means here p0 p0 that means we know that p0x for legender polynomial p0x we know that 1 okay so if n will be 0 then the so called p0 p0x will be 1 and here n will be 0 means uh, it will be b0 by r and a0 r to the power 0 will be 1 so the solution will be in the form of a0 here you can see that if i am going to put n equal to 0 so it will be a0 r to the power 0 means 1 plus here b0 some constant b0 means some constant r to the power minus 1 r to the power minus 1 so the solution will be in this form constant some constant by r plus a0 okay uh, why i discussed these two cases because these two cases will be useful whenever we are going to discuss that uh, a dielectric sphere 
or a conducting sphere will be in the uh, electric field and uh, what will be the resultant electric field at outside the sphere inside the sphere whatever we are going to discuss in our preceding classes okay uh, for that this case is important this case is important uh, how it will be important that we are going to discuss in those classes okay so thank you so much for watching this video one thing i am going to tell to you that in your exam it will be asked uh, to solve the laplace equation in three dimensional spherical polar coordinate system by using sbm so you have to write down up to this much these two special cases is not required for the derivation okay so i suggest that watch carefully this video and pause the video write down the note okay so thank you so much for watching this video thank you